bit of forecast that was uh, worthy of some depictions <laughs> in paint and photograph today, Carlene. Ah, it was beautiful, Carlene. It was nice out. Absolutely beautiful. Still going strong, too. That's the plus side. 61 degrees right now for downtown. You also have winds out of the west northwest at 9 miles per hour. Lots of sunshine out there gearing up for our sunset, which will be at 717 for tonight. So temperatures, we're getting right back into those 50s. That's going to be the case by the next hour. 59 degrees at 7 p.m. Getting into the low 50s by 1 in the morning. So those 50s look to return strong, and well, so does the marine layer. Pretty quiet for right now. We're not looking at a lot of cloud cover across Southern California, but across the nation, a much different story as much of our nation is dealing with severe weather. And that's because we have an area of low pressure, too, in fact. We have one that's right over the Pacific Northwest starting to move in, also seeing this area of low pressure that is circulating a lot of moisture all across the Great Plains. And then when you have two clashing air masses, it's that time of the year. You're talking about that cold air moving in from Canada and also tapping into that warming waters across the Gulf and the Atlantic. That's where you have the collision, and that is creating some very dangerous conditions as we go into tonight. Severe weather as a result of these clashing air masses. Tornado watch all the way from Louisiana moving in towards Kentucky as we go into tonight. Blizzard warning across the Great Plains. You're seeing that in uh, North Dakota as well as South Dakota and also Montana. And then everything that you see highlighted in red across New Mexico, that is fire weather concerns. And gearing up for some snow across Oregon could see anywhere between 8 to 14 inches of that snow. That area of low pressure is going to stay towards the north of us. High pressure is going to be our main weather maker over the next few days. Tapping into that across the southwest, it's going to bring temperatures a little bit warmer with more of an impact across the mountains and the desert. Because of the marine influence, we'll continue to have that onshore flow. Temperatures not budging by much, just day by day getting a little bit warmer, but still below seasonal west of the mountains. That high pressure system moves over us for Easter. It's a little bit warmer on Easter and then also talking about the peak of that heat being on Monday. If you're going to the home opener for the Padres tomorrow. Keep in mind 64 degrees. Cool breeze will also be there as well. So you're looking at the 60s going strong into next week for the coast. 70s Pretty much the same, but getting pretty close to those 80s by Monday. 70s return to the mountains starting on Easter Sunday. Those 90s right back into the desert on Sunday too. Jake, 